So much on my mind all the time, I need peace. Hey everybody, I'm Monty and Channel 5 is reporting that wearing a tie can reduce blood flow to the brain by 7.5%. Fellas, all these years they've been making us a tie. You know, ladies, if you never want a tie, a tie isn't, it's something you get used to, but it's not a great feeling. It's just like a, it's like a weak child is trying to strangle you all night. You know what I mean? It's not great. And now they're saying <clears throat> it can reduce blood flow to the brain by 7.5%. That is, I don't, man, that's, we'll pop your collar on that. But okay, guys, all right, back, another show. See, look at this. We rolling, we got more, more coming. More consistency, I left y'all for a while, but we back again. A couple more things that's grinding my gears, y'all, and let's get to it. If you saw the click before, let's just stop with the potlucks at the office. Let's stop. I, it's, you know, most of us working from home now, a lot of y'all, uh, you know, you ain't really coming in the office. That's probably one thing you showed on this is that that office potluck because it's just, it's just not, I'm sure they meant well. I'm sure they meant well when they said, hey, let's just all get together. It's the, the office's anniversary or whatever. I don't even know what the reason is for, or, you know, oh, Janice from accounting is going away. She's moving to Antarctica. Okay, so everybody bring a dish. And again, it seems, it seems on the surface like a good idea and economical. Just bring one dish and there's going to be a whole bunch of others that everybody else is bringing. So you can take a plate, maybe even two. But then, see, that requires you to be more personable with the people that you work with than you probably want to be. You know, it's one thing I got to just spend time with y'all every day and we working, but to find out how you eat and how you cook and all that. I don't really want to know that. And then when you bring this stuff and I'm not, okay, I know y'all, I know y'all think y'all know where I'm going. I'm not trying to make this a cultural thing. I'm just saying not everybody is used to the way other people do things, especially in the kitchen. And I'll just say that you really see that some people, once they bring a dish to, like when you come to the, when you sign up for the potluck, you would think you bringing your best dish. Like put me down for spaghetti or, you know, put me down for the green bean casserole. Whatever you ask you were making, that should be one of your top three dishes that you can make. And it's like, man, when you bring this to the table and we looking at it, And you see things in the food that you didn't know could go in the food. You know, like, you putting that with that. Wow, okay. So you just want us to eat a Brussels sprout sandwich? A sandwich? You made Brussels sprout sandwiches? What? I didn't know nobody did. Oh, yeah, we always had that. We, we eat them all the time in our family. Do y'all. You see what I'm saying? And, and it's just not, pretty soon you just end up doing what? Eating the dish that you made and just enjoying that because it's like, fam, I don't really, you know, wow. So let's just ban them. Who, who here is against banning them? Let's get a petition, make it a federal crime, and you, no more office potlucks, none. Because cooking is a level of trust that I need to have, you know, with you unless you have a brand, okay? Sure, I don't trust the 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 twenty year old person at the sub shop making my sub, but I know the brand, so they can't really mess it up. It's not like they doing their own thing. That's different. But when we're trusting somebody to bring a dish that they made and we've got no back history of of it at all, you know, and you you just coming in here with a with you know something with what is that you oh with peaches on it. Oh, okay. I didn't know chicken had peaches you could put on it. Peach chicken is what you call it. Peach chicken. 
You think orange chip? Oh no, okay. So no, you going peach chicken with this mug. And then they then go watch me eat it too. Oh, okay. Oh, see that's when you gotta pull the fire alarm. Get me out of here. Cause y'all wildin'. I'm just saying, let's we all been thinking it. So let's just let's come together. All right. Somebody start with them, petition.org things, whatever. I will sign it today. No more office potlucks. All right. Let's just stop because it's people feelings just be getting hurt. That's all it really is. Or you go nobody wants to go home with indigestion. So um that's one. The other thing is um I would I would bring it. I'm not even gonna bring it, but let me tell you the biggest, one of the biggest scams out here right now. When I was young, I was probably eight years old, and my mother, she just grabbed me one day. She said, come here. And I said, yeah. She's like, this is all your dirty clothes in this basket. I said, yeah. And she said, look, this is how you do it. Put the clothes in, put the detergent in. You want to do whites? You can. You want to do colors, separate things like that. You put in, you know, the, the detergent here. You know what I'm saying? The little downy here. Then you put, take it out. Once the thing goes off, the buzzer hits, you take it out, you put it in the dryer, put the dryer sheets in. My mother taught me how to do laundry when I was eight years old. Because she was like, I ain't going to be doing your laundry for the rest of your life, boy. I, I felt I felt I was a little too young for it, but it, it is what it is. So I say that to say I've been doing laundry since I was eight. Could barely see into the laundry thing. Do the laundry. Now, so I know the laundry game. You dig what I'm saying? And I remember doing laundry. I remember I would get that laundry out and it would smell so good. Whatever we had all, I think we used to use all, but it's all, it's tied, there's whatever, you know, now there's gain, there's down, whatever the kind you use. And it would be like, oh, it would smell so good. It would smell so good. Or then my house when I was a kid, the dryer sheets, you put the dryer sheets in and you could like, you could smell it on the outside of the house, the way, I don't know how they had to, you know, it coming out from the dryer, it would come outside and you could smell somebody like doing laundry and it smelled amazing. And now you can't. What you mean now you can't? Now you can't smell it. You can't really smell the laundry no more like that. You can smell it a little bit, but it ain't strong. And you know what you got to do to make it get strong? Now you got to buy these scent beads. Scent beads means they took the scent out of the detergent and put it in the beads. So that's why your laundry ain't just killing you fresh no more. It used to be so fresh. You know, oh, back it up, fam. I'm getting the laundry high. I can't take all the laundry. The laundry is killing. Woo, what y'all using? That ain't just the regular all. Oh, that's springtime all. Wow, they got springtime all? I ain't know they had the springtime all. I'm gonna get the springtime all because that springtime is remind me of spring. Wow, I want to go play some baseball. It's so much spring in here. Now we ain't got no spring. Now you got to buy a hole. Now you got to buy the detergent. You got to buy the, the dryer sheet. The dryer sheets? Fam, I used to only put one dryer sheet in. Now I'm putting in seven. And it still ain't kicking it. Now when I put in a whole half a thing of scent beads, putting them in, then I'm getting that smell. Now I'm getting it back. See, they just did that to monetize, make more money. They took the scent out of the dryer sheets and out of the detergent. Y'all tell me I'm lying. If you're old school, you know I'm telling the truth. And now you got to buy scent beads too. It's such a scam. I got to buy detergent. I got to buy the, the dryer sheets. I got to buy the fabric softener. And I got to buy the scent beads now too. Y'all got to wake up, fam. Y'all got to wake up. It's the new world order of laundry doing this mess. That's what it is. The NWO laundry. Let's see, I think I have one more thing, man. That that ain't right. That ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't right. You know. Um, let me go through my list. I think, well, that might be all I had. Yo, I already did one. I did my thing about you should have watched my check my TikTok out, uh, Monty, something about going to you don't you haven't visited the city just because you've had a layover in that city. That don't mean you visited the city. And I talked about that there. Um, but the, the, I hit that, hit that, hit that one. I was last week. Um, that have I talked about, I don't know if I did that on a show earlier, 
But I, let me say it. Let me say it one more time. Um, fam, I get. I saw another deal. I get really nervous when I see these chicken nuggets being twenty for like two dollars because to me it either means that the chicken nugget industry is much cheaper and they're making hand over fist. How can you? They're not losing money. So when I see a lot for a little like that, that's a red flag because it makes me wonder: is it? What are we really eating? You know, I'll, and I'm going to end with that. This is what I'm ending on is the chicken nugget scandal. Because I think Burger King started doing it like 10 nuggets for a dollar. Well, again, now Burger King is not going to lose money. So how, so does it really cost like 13 cents to make the nuggets and y'all giving us 10 for a dollar? You know, because it, no, it ain't even right. Because if it was 13 cents, 10 would still be more than a dollar. So how much does it cost to make the chicken nuggets? They're not losing money. So are y'all saying that it cost five cent? You know, five cent per nugget, ten nuggets. Then y'all making a profit off that? Because if so, then without that special, and y'all charging me for a six piece, like four forty nine, if the nuggets only cost five cent to make, wow, that's a that's a huge markup. Or is it? Are y'all saying chicken product? And y'all just putting chicken beaks in there and stuff when y'all do the promo instead of the chicken breast that we supposed to be having. You see what I'm saying? You got to watch this stuff. All right? So, no potlucks. Stop jiving on the scent beads and get our nuggets right. Guys, that's my show. Pick them back up, though. All right? I told you. We got more coming, more coming, more coming. Keep on watching it. Please subscribe. I should have been saying that. I keep, see, I got to get back in my groove. Subscribe. Click. I mean, for real. We need some more subscribers. Click. Likes, comments, whatever, all right? But you know what to do for sure. Be blessed. Stay sharp.